Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Alex Braber here. Last time, we reviewed Mario Kart 64 for the Nintendo 64. So, with that being said, next game we're reviewing today, Super Mario World. Now, I may have 10 minutes, but I've got a lot to re but I've got a lot to cover for this review. So, so with that said, let's get this out of the way. Anyway, Super Nintendo came out in 1991. That's right, 1991. That was four years before I was born. And when me and my sisters were little, we would go over. We would during the summertime, we'd go over to our mom's house. She had she had a Super Nintendo. Anyway. One of the games I liked on that system was a was it being Super Mario World. And to this day I still think it's a fun game. I mean it's a rage inducive game if you're playing with two players. <laughs> but hey, that's just me. But anyway. The game goes up to two players. If there are more people in the room, you'd have to take turns. And need I mention that if one of you screws up or loses all your lives, a first player can give some of his lives, some of his or her lives to the other player. But yeah, the. Castle stages now are back in full force because now they want you dead. And if you like some of the some of the items from Super Mario Brothers three on the NES, well, those items aren't coming back. For Christmas, my dad got a Super Nintendo Classic for Christmas, so I played the heck out uh, of Super Mario World. And I, uh, and I was trying to see if the cape feather was still game breaking, but I think they took that out. Not the cape feather, but the game breaking part of the cape feather, because if you rhythmically press back on the D pad while you're flying, well, actually you're able to have Mario fly. But the cape feather in the on the actual console, it on the game like on the cartridge game on the actual console itself is game breaking. So don't overuse it if you got that game. But anyway. You still got your standard items, your mushroom, your fire flower, your starman, your one-up mushroom. For me, I took Ayagi Koopa. It only took me a few tries. But yeah, if you want 100% the game, you have to go for all the hidden exits, all the Switch Palaces. And I mean everything. Even the ghost houses. But for me, I'm just doing it for the enjoyment of the game. I'm just doing it for the pure... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm, lo I'm doing it for the pure... I'm doing it for the story. The same way I did Batman Arkham City. I did it for the story. But anyway. I know I said I had a lot to cover for this review, but... I barely played it, but... Next time we meet... Let's see. We'll be looking at Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary for the Xbox 360 and Xbox One on the Master Chief Collection. So, with that being said, you all have a, you all have a good day. Y'all take care. I'll see you all for Halo CE Anniversary.